you say you not only a member of the BPCI, but you stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel, traveled in luxury, was provided transport and so on. That must have been paid by BCCI, of and that is a benefit accruing to you. Absolutely not. Again, that is a misconception and a, and, and a mis misnomer. All the costs from the day one that I've joined the BCCI, in fact, there are staff that are on my roles that I pay for it through, through myself, and, and all costs um, the, uh, related to my staying in a hotel or traveling or, or cars are all mine. You know, BCC, I may have provided a car here or there in, in a particular city, but they all charge it back to me. I never take, I, I fly on my own accord. I, I stay in hotels on my own cost. I, I run the IPL on my own time. I have people working in the IPL um, that are my personal staff, which I pay for, and, and that is my contribution. In fact, I'm paying for it, not somebody else other way around. This again is a misconception. Uh, since I was born, I was born in a very wealthy family, without doubt. My grandfather and my father have worked very hard to build their businesses, and I've worked very hard to build businesses myself. But IPL has made money for your relations, and you oh. did not disclose that to the BCCI. Today, it's very well and fine to sit back in hindsight and say, you know, I didn't declare. I didn't need to declare, number one, first and foremost, because it was all there, number one, in front of everybody. In fact, you had my vice chairman, Niranjan Shah, who was questioned immediately after the auction and said that Mr. Modi's relatives have bid. He said, so what? There are no other bidders out there. And if he has bid, he's put his own money. And if it wasn't friends and family that are coming to, out to bid and, and come in and believe into a problem, we wouldn't have had the IPL in the first place.